Hi, my name is Neil and I'm going to talk you through some of the features of the new Max S Aquarium. They are fully featured aquariums ready set for a proper SPS reef. There are many features in the system and I'll just try and introduce them to you one by one, not in any specific order, but I'll try to start at the top and work my way down. So let's start with the lighting. We begin with a lighting system that gives you 10 T5 tubes, four in the front, two in the middle, and four at the back. The whole lighting system is designed to move front and back to give you lots of room for working on your aquarium. And the front and back sections also flip up so again, to give you plenty of room to work. So they flip up and the whole thing also slides to the back and again, we can lift it up, giving you light over the aquarium and plenty of room to do all of your reefscaping work. Just in case it wasn't clear, the lighting is in fact switched off automatically as soon as you raise the, uh, the front hood and it's all run by a micro switch on the side. That's what you'd be getting in your eyes if the micro switch wasn't there to switch it off. We're now going to talk about the construction of the aquarium itself including the circulation and filtration systems. At the back of the aquarium we have a chamber. That chamber in fact is divided into two parts. In the top part of the rear chamber, we have a number of circulation pumps that are creating all of the water motion you need within the aquarium. The bottom half of the chamber, which you can't see from here, is in fact a water top-up reservoir, which is filled up from an easy access uh, fill port on the left rear corner of the aquarium. Across the top of that chamber is in fact a full-length surface skimmer running across the complete length of the aquarium and in a minute we'll see exactly how that works at the back. From here we can clearly see the three outlet nozzles of the uh, return pumps. They are easily directional so you can uh, set them as you need according to the construction of your reef. Underneath there are gridded um, return holes to make sure that the pump chamber there always has a good supply of water. At the top of the picture you can see a similar type of nozzle that's returned from the main pump from the sump. As I said before the rear chamber is divided into two pump chamber at the top and the top up reservoir at the bottom. Here on the top is where you fill the water into the top up reservoir and down here you have a sight glass in the side at the back of the tank so you can see the water level that you actually have in the reservoir. There is in fact enough water in here that should be able to keep the aquarium running comfortably for about five to seven days. I've removed the cover from the rear chamber and you can now see the other side of the surface skimmer and the water level is about uh, one inch or 25 millimeters below the uh, level of the water in the aquarium itself. From the rear chamber, the water flows down into the sump through a specially constructed overflow system that enables us to regulate the flow and therefore keep it quiet at all times. It has a double pipe system, so there is an overflow that is about 30 millimeters, about an inch and a quarter above the main flow to make sure that at no time can water come over the sides the, of the aquarium glass. The aquarium itself is made from 12 millimeter thick super clear glass so that you don't get any distortion of the colors on the, on, on the corals themselves. Around the aquarium you can see this color trim. All of these parts, all of these trim parts and the cabinet come in a whole range of colors and you can see in our, our catalog uh, the various choices you have. All of this in fact can be changed at any point in time that you want to uh, redo your aquarium, make it look fresh or even change the color. As I said before all of the color trim can be exchanged at any point in time is because there are plastic rails glued to the glass and the color trim just slides on on the outside and all of this can be removed. Let's have a look inside and understand the construction of the cabinet.
The base of the system is an anodized aluminium frame which supports the complete weight of the aquarium. The actual side panels and the doors are all free floating and can actually be removed at a later point in time without having to take the aquarium apart. The flooring and the walls lining the sump area are all made from plastic as well as the actual baseboard which holds the aquarium itself. Hinges are stainless steel and everything is as marine spec as it can possibly be. Under the baseboards are stainless steel adjusting legs which enable you to make sure that the aquarium is perfectly level uh, when you are setting it up. Now let's have a look at the sump area itself. Almost everything you see here is supplied as standard with the unit. This is a full size glass sump. It comes complete with the uh, main return pump on the right hand side you can see the float valve from the automatic top-up system it comes with the sea skim protein skimmer activated carbon and on the left hand side we have a uh, extra chamber enabling you to put in accessory equipment such as this calcium reactor which doesn't come as standard with the unit but you can see exactly how extra equipment can be fitted you can now see all of the piping that is pre-prepared when you receive the unit. It's all cut and glued and ready just to be plugged in and all of the piping fits together with union connectors so it's all ready to go. On this side we have the power center which controls all of the electrical equipment inside the aquarium. It consists of three banks of outlets, two of them are individually uh, switch units for all of the pumps and accessory equipment and this one is controlling all of the lighting and includes two uh, analog timers which enable you to have a sunrise at sunset effect as well as switching on the moonlights um, automatically. Each of the three banks of outlets are all protected by their own individual automatic circuit breaker to add a, another level of protection to the system. Underneath the power center is the chiller chamber. It's prepared so that you can add the chiller which is not provided with the system uh, so that there's a good airflow through the chamber to keep the chiller running at the optimal conditions. If you'll notice there is a gap between the floor and the door at the front to allow air to enter and the complete wall at the back is open for uh, complete airflow through the chamber. So there you have it. That's all the features of the Max S Aquarium. For more details, you can go on our website where you'll see all of the technical specifications about the three various sizes, the 400, 500, and the 650, and all of the colors, or go to one of our authorized dealers which are displaying and selling the Max. Thank you.